When it comes to using Microsoft Loop, did you know that you've got multiple ways you can manage tasks inside of the Loop? Yes, I know it can be pretty confusing. So I'm gonna be showing you the three key ways you can manage tasks inside of a Loop. Whether that's the brand new Kanban capability that's just been released in Microsoft Loop, or creating a task list that synchronizes into Microsoft Panel or To-Do, or even bringing your tasks from Trello I'm gonna show you each of those options and how they work so you can get set up quickly and create a task list to simplify the way you and your team work and get the right outcomes. But before we dive into those exciting capabilities in Microsoft Loop, I've got a quick favor to ask. Did you know that nearly 87% of viewers of our last video were not subscribed to this channel? And I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. It's one click for you and means a whole lot more for us. It also means that you can keep up to date with our latest tutorials, making you more productive with the tools that you have. So now you've hit that subscribe button, let's dive into Microsoft Loop and check out these great new capabilities for managing tasks for you and your team. So here we are inside of Microsoft Loop and we're gonna be checking out the latest Kanban capabilities that are available today in Microsoft Loop. Now here we have a small project I'm going to be involved in a website redesign and I need to get a Kanban to throw some ideas on and get the team working on it. Now can we use Planner? Well of course we can, but there is, as I mentioned, new capability inside of Loop to create a new Kanban board. However, this is not connected to Microsoft Planner or Microsoft To Do. Yes, as we'll see, when we allocate tasks to people, we can certainly note them as task owners, but those tasks are not synchronized into Microsoft Planner and To Do and rather a notification is issued on email to alert them that they've been tagged in content that they can update. Let's go and check it out by creating this brand new Kanban board. All we need to do is click on the forward slash menu to open up the action menu inside of Loop. Then we can scroll down to the new component type and that's called Kanban board. Go ahead and left click that. You'll then see a number of these columns appear grouped by labels. It gives you a way to work straight away. Equally, you might want to change that. So what I could do, well, I could easily go into any of these columns, select the free dot menu, and I could rename the group by changing it here. Equally, well, I could go in and then delete one of these groups by clicking the free dot menu, and once again, selecting the delete group button. However, as it's associated to a label, we need to be careful when using it elsewhere and accidentally delete any content, but we're not on our loop page here. So let's go ahead and update the table and create some columns that make more sense to us. With that done, we can begin adding tasks inside of our actual Kanban board. Now, as you probably guessed, it's pretty easy. We click on add a card under any of our groups or buckets here and begin adding content, much like we do in apps like Microsoft Planner. We can very easily add a description into here, such as updating our branding guidelines. And then we can also add a work owner Yes, these are also people you work with in your organization. So Megan's gonna help me out with our branding guidelines. And as you can see, once we add Megan in, well, she has no access to this Loop page and the content. So much like the standard behavior inside of Loop, we need to click on the plus button to share and notify that to Megan. She'll receive an email notification instantly with content shown in that email. We're then also gonna go ahead and select a date this is gonna be due on. Let's go ahead and select the calendar icon and then we'll mark it for next Thursday. With that done, well, you might think that's pretty basic because there's not a lot of content in that card. Well, what we can easily do is again, left click into that card and add more content, much like we do on other apps like Trello as well. Now in here, we could again update the title of this task, add more owners, change the dates, and also the stage. We can also add checklists. Yes, much like Microsoft Planner, if this task has multiple things to actually get done, you can go ahead and add a checklist and check off those items as they get completed. So with a checklist added, I'm gonna go ahead and check off the first task to design a new brand. But how can we share it with others? I've got a new image of the brands we want to use. Can we also add that to our Kanban? And yes, we can. Now in apps like Planner, this can be difficult. When we click into notes, normally it's only a small line of text However, inside of Loop, by clicking the forward slash button here, we'll be able to open up this Loop action menu. And as you can see, a range of different components now become available to insert into this task. 
And at the bottom, we have the ability to also upload an image. We'll go ahead and select image. And here I'll browse to the image on my local computer. And I'm gonna insert the branding guidelines we're gonna be working with here. I can then go ahead and enclose this task down. And we've added our first task into our Kanban board. I'm gonna add a few more tasks here to build out our Kanban to show what else we can do with it. Now with our Kanban looking a little more busier, how can we update the tasks into different buckets and groups inside of our Kanban? Well, all we need to do is literally drag them across. In this action here, I'm dragging something in our review bucket and I'm gonna put it in our completed bucket here. The task has now been updated visibly inside of our Kanban board. So it's really easy to add also tasks and then also group them and regroup them where required. But also, can we export this data? And we can indeed do that. These Kanban boards are much like loop tables in the way they're created. So the ability is we can click on this menu button to the left hand side and select export to Excel. Loop will then export the contents directly into an Excel file in your OneDrive. And as you can see, pre-format it in the format of a table. It's really easy then to go to the share button in the right hand side. And you can easily click on the share to create a sharing link to someone else who might necessarily not have access to that loop content and share it with others. But how can we also share the Kanban wider? We've created all this great content, we need to share it. Well, much like anything in loop, we can create a loop component and share it with others. All we need to do is highlight the relevant content, click on the left hand side menu button I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new loop component. And with our link copied, well, we can easily insert it into email or even Microsoft Teams. And the benefit is, well, the content can be edited in place. Yes, maybe another task has been marked as completed. Well, inside of Outlook, I can just left click and drag it into the new bucket and that sync straight back into Microsoft Loop. So using a new Kanban capability provides much similar capability to loop tables. Importantly though, as you mentioned earlier, this content such as tasks are not synced into Planner and To-Do. So if you need that capability, don't worry, we're gonna cover that next. But before we all get looped out, I thought I'd just quickly share with you something that we've got available you can take advantage of today. Yes, over at our website, Your365Coach, we've got an amazing Microsoft 365 eBook packed with tips and tricks to get using the tools in the right way. You can access it completely free by checking out the link below. And if you also need more help on Microsoft 365 services, getting set up or struggling or needing a bit of training, feel free to reach out to us. We can certainly help you on that journey and give you and your team the skills that you need to succeed. So let's dive back into Microsoft Loop and check out more capability around tasks. So when you also need a new task list, maybe the Kanban isn't gonna meet your requirements because you want automated notifications and a way to manage those tasks in a better way. Well, we can use Planner to achieve that, but how can we do that inside a Microsoft Loop and have a new plan created that we can maintain inside of Loop? Well, in that way, what we can go and do is click on the forward slash action menu. We can scroll down here and we're gonna look for a task list under our templates for Loop. Go ahead and select a new task list. Now in here, we have tasks assigned to due dates and buckets. I'm gonna add a few tasks in and also set some information to see how it works. With some tasks added and some people also owning those tasks, we can also now consider we need to give access to the actual plan and also allocate these tasks correctly. Now, as you can see, I'm logged in in an account of Alex and by assigning them to me, what well, it automatically assign and I'll see those in my Microsoft to-do list as well as a shared planner. However, we have Miriam and Megan and they both have a plus icon next to them. What we need to do is provide access to those individuals. We'll go ahead and left click and also share and notify. That'll now grant access to that shared plan and those tasks will be allocated to both of those individuals. Now you may also wonder, well, where is the planner capability? Is this a simple task list? Actually, as I mentioned, this is using Planner. Go into the right hand side and select an open in Planner and you'll see where your plan lives. You'll see the loop icon with the page name of called Social Buzz. We also see it's a link plan inside of one of our loop pages. 
And in here, well, I could go in and add a new bucket, just like we do in Planner. Let's add an in progress bucket here. And we can simply drag and drop some of the tasks over into the new bucket. And does that then become available inside of Loop? Maybe your question. Well, let's go back into Loop and check it out. And as we can see, that change is now synced to the Loop task list. The task that we dragged across in the in progress bucket, well, it appears here. Likewise, I could also select the bucket inside of Loop and select a new option for in progress. Or I could even create a brand new bucket inside of our Loop task list by adding a new option and also mark it here as something completed, which will sync straight back into our shared Microsoft Planner task list. And that is what's powering the Loop capability here. In creating it in this way, we're creating a shared Microsoft plan using Planner, having assignment notifications and more. But equally remembering that when you've tagged people against these tasks, using the planner and to-do capability, we can also open the task list in to-do. and be able to get a view of any of our tasks that are upcoming that have been assigned to me. And here we are. The two tasks assigned to Alex now appear right at the top, marked as social buzz. And there's even a link to click on the open for the loop link. When I select the link inside of to-do, it'll take you back to the loop table inside of my loop page, bringing it all back together. So if you need a task list that also uses planner, and to do capabilities that you can synchronize from your loop page and content back into those apps. Why not check out a task list that can do exactly that? But what if you and your team have already created a Microsoft Planner? Yes, you don't want to be recreating it inside of Loop if you've already got all your content created in a plan. Can we bring that into Microsoft Loop and keep it up to date? We absolutely we can. Here is one of our Microsoft planners we've created for Project Winter. We have our access set as we can see in the top right with all of the members. We've got a number of tasks that have all been allocated. So we're gonna go and copy the URL from the address bar to the plan itself. And then we'll head back into Microsoft Loop. And all we need to do is paste it into our Loop page. And as you can see, the plan has now been inserted. Even better, we can go in and open any of these tasks just like we did inside a Microsoft planner that sinks straight back into the plan. But of course, we should always remember the security of the plan is maintained separately. Just because we added it into Loop doesn't provide wider access. So if you do go ahead and create a new task and assign it to someone who doesn't have access to the plan, it will just like Planner add them into the plan and any associated content that's inside of that group or team. We can also see once again under the members dialog here, we can add or remove others directly through the loop experience. But remembering the security of your plan is always controlled within the planner itself. But it's a great way here to bring in one of your Microsoft planners that you already have, share it with your team and maintain it in place. And let's not forget that some people may be using Trello to also manage some of their tasks in a board view. Can we bring that into Microsoft Loop? And we certainly can. Here is a board I've created inside of Trello with these tasks that have been added in originally. I'd like to get this into Microsoft Loop and synchronize so we can maintain it in Loop and have this sync straight back into Trello. But how can I achieve that? Well, here is, as I mentioned, our board. All we do need to do is go into the Loop app. When we've done that, we can create a new page for our Project Zero planning. And in here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the forward slash button to open up this loop menu. We're gonna go scroll down all the way to the Trello option. When I select Trello, at this point, it will try and authenticate to the Trello app and then provide any boards that you have access to. Now here, I have my task list, the board I've just shown you a little earlier. I can import it and bring it straight into our Microsoft Loop page. Now, as you can see here, the yellow dialog that appears actually mentions you can edit the members due date and move cards across different lists inside of your board. For example, maybe this is actually moving from scoping into a design phase. Well, I can easily left click and drag it into the relevant group or bucket. I can also left click and open one of these tasks, which is very similar to what we saw inside of the Kanban board inside of Loop, and they all sync back. However, as we can see here, there's no easy way to create a new task you would need to use a Trello app to do so to sync it and make edits and then further changes. This is a great way to sync any task you've got inside of Trello, 
bring it into loop and then build more content around it for you and your team. So there we have it, Microsoft Loop Task Management. Now I'd love to know in the comments of what you think of the task management capabilities in Microsoft Loop. And not only that, don't forget you've got access to that free Microsoft 365 ebook at our website that you can take advantage of and download for free today. Otherwise, if you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to find more great content like this. And I'll be seeing you in the next one.